Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the global economy lost billions of dollars on Monday evening as Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram went down at about 4.42 p.m. NetBlocks, which tracks internet outages and their impact, reports that the outage had already cost the global economy about $160 million per hour. It also projected that the chief executive officer of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, lost nearly $7 billion since the outage began. According to TechCrunch, users were also unable to send messages or load new content on the mobile apps for these platforms. However, at about six hours later, the social media platforms came back on. At number four, the Nigeria Customs Service has intercepted 15 sacks of pangolin scales weighing 1,014.5 kg with a value of over 1.7 billion naira. NCS National Public Relations Officer DC Joseph Atta disclosed this to journalists on Monday. He said two suspects were arrested with the items. Atta said a DNA test would be conducted on the scales to know which country the scales emanated from. He further said that those who brought these things were not Nigerians, but from Asian countries and well-developed countries, adding that Nigerians that were involved were lured by money to provide warehouse where the parts could be stored. At number three, the federal government is set to scrutinize over 300 inmates in Lagos State to be granted presidential pardon under the prerogative of mercy of President Muhammad Buhari. The examination will be carried out by the Presidential Advisory Committee on Prerogative of Mercy. The Chairman of the Committee and Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, kicked off the exercise at the Ikoi Correctional Center on Monday. About 300 inmates would be scrutinized in Lagos, while 80 would be considered for pardon. At number two, the Federal Road Safety Corps has warned Nigerians against traveling at night, citing the deplorable state of most federal roads and increasing insecurity across the country. The FRC sector commander in Kogi State, Solomon Agure, gave the advice in a statement on Monday in Lokoja. Also speaking against overspeeding, Agure said no good road experience could come out of speeding, overloading, use of phone while driving, use of mechanically deficient vehicles, failure to use seat belt and safety crash helmet, and several other road use infractions. At number one, Hafsat Ganduje, the wife of the governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduje, has been arrested by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Ganduje's wife was reportedly arrested on Monday over a bribery and land fraud case reported to the anti-graft agency by her son, Abdulaziz Ganduje. Recall that EFCC had invited Hafsat to its Abuja headquarters on September 13th, but she disregarded the invitation. It was later gathered that the Kanu State First Lady had travelled to the UK at the time to attend the graduation ceremony of her son. A source familiar with the incident disclosed that Mrs. Ganduje was arrested on Monday evening. As of 6 a.m. this morning, it was learned that she was still at the EFCC headquarters. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.